G'day everyone, Justin here with another Lynx software training demonstration. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you PLU programs in your Lynx software. I'm showing you in SAM Lynx, but the same applies to Uniwell Lynx and Sharp Lynx. Now to get this underway, I'm just going to demonstrate what a PLU program is in your system. Basically, PLU programs designate what items from your Lynx database go to what cache registers or sales terminals. So here we've got a very simple example. We've got a series of stock items in your Lynx database uh, with stock codes and what the item is. And then I can choose the PLU number of the, that those items will be in each sales terminal, depending on the program that they're, they're in. So in this sales terminal 1 example, uh, I can send PLU 1 two, three, and four, and they will be the Coke, the BSW, the glass of wine, and the JD and Cola can. I can send a different set of PLUs, a different subset, um, to that program, uh, to that cash register. So I can send one, two, and three being the Coke, the chips, and the Mars bar, and not send items to each of those uh, cash registers, depending on what's set up in my software. So it's very useful if you've got multiple cache registers in your system, uh, limited amounts of room in each cache register for instance, and you want to send just the items that are relevant to those particular cache registers. So how do you set it up in the software? Well I'll just quickly show you this on the item screen. So let's use an example of, of this particular item here for instance. Okay, so I can set up up to 10 PLU programs in the software and in this instance you'll see that this item is only going to the default program and let's face it for most systems that have got either a single cache register or multiple cache registers that are all identical in programming, you'll only have a default program uh, and in that default program for this instance it's um, PLU number 4 in the cache register will be this 425 mil coopers. So that's as simple as it is. I can have different PLU numbers in different programs for this one item. Uh, I can't have the one item as two different PLUs in the one program. I'd have to set up a separate indirect item for that uh, to have it in in the cache register in two instances. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see how powerful that would be. Now just something I'll show you quickly is how to customise your system so that that screen's a bit more user friendly. If I go to the setup menu and down to customise, you'll see that these are the descriptions for the programs. So just note what I do here. Uh, we had bar register and Pro Shop, and let's have Restaurant as the third one, and then we'll delete the rest. Okay, so in this instance we're saying we've got three different PLU programs, and that's what they are designed to go to. Now we close that, now if we go back into Items, and choose that, Okay, so you see the change there? We've now got only the three relevant boxes for the different PLU programs that we're using, and we've got intuitive descriptions there. So it makes the whole process so much easier in designating particularly new items. If you've got a new item and you think, okay, what PLU does it need to be in what program, then you can see very clearly what program is going where. Now, final little bit of information for you on this subject. We go to sales terminals, modify sales terminal, and you'll see down here this is what where we choose what program is going to that sales terminal. So this is a very um, good feature of the software. Uh, makes it very flexible in how you set up uh, your system and we hope that you make good use of that. Obviously we've got a tutorial on our um, Poslinks blog, 
Uh, so that's poslinks.wordpress.com. So if you want to get a bit more information, or if you've got any other questions, we'll contact your, serv your support provider or talk to us at Poslinks. Alright, I think that's enough for now. Uh, hopefully that's given you something to uh, work with. And, yeah, as I say, if you want to know more about what we do at Poslinks, uh, visit us at poslinks.wordpress.com. Alright, thanks for that. Bye.